Today, we're gonna check out some more Skip and Loafer. Let's jump into it. Logo reveal. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, maybe subscribe to the channel because most of you are not subscribed and you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, I would love to know, let me know down in the comments below, what anime are you most interested in this upcoming anime season? So I can kind of gauge what people that are fans of Skip and Loafer are fans of in the summer anime season. And we watched this live on Twitch on Tuesday. So if you're interested in checking that out, then maybe you want to stop by the Twitch channel. The link for my channel is down in the description. Uh, I'll be doing some reactions to some stuff in the next anime season as well. Jesus. This fucking guy stole the damn spotlight, stole her job. He does not give a single f Damn. Aww. She deserves it too. Playtime. Okay. Bro, I have not seen the sound of music in a minute, dude. I have I literally don't remember how it goes at all. Aww, I feel bad for her. Oh, what the fuck is that? Did she made that? That's good. Oh, this man's just trying to hit on her, bro. Right? Damn, the expression changed so quick. I like it. I like the artwork. What's your first name? No, I'm just kidding. Aw, <laughs> uh, she don't give a fuck about relationships and shit. She don't give a fuck about these boys like trying to flirt with her and shit. I feel bad for her. Mm. Churros! Damn, oh, she brought some with her. Hey, let's go. Oh, damn. Oh, 200 yen? Really? You just gonna complain? Okay, whatever. That's her friend. I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. Oh, that's so wholesome. I bet that motherfucker soft as hell inside, bro. It got the nice crisp outside, but it's got that nice fluffiness inside. If you got like some sort of dip for it too, ooh, <laughs> oh, everybody's splitting up. No, she's back to being alone. Ikemen, where are you? Shima. Aww. Little hop, little, little pep in her step. Uh oh, something happened. What happened? No, you tell him. No! This demon! Why? Oh my god, bro. Oh my. Oh, I fucking. Hit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I got, got a little bit upset. I think Diana had to close the door because of me. Uh, oh my God. Hold on, let me tell her I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's the, she's the best? Bro, I will literally, I will literally do nothing. But how dare you? That's her? Oh, that's Mama! Mama's here! Mama's here. Motherfucker, dude. 
Oh, so he likes writing. Oh. oh little brother's here. He's got the penguin. Oh, my God. Look at his cute little face. Oh. oh, no. No. Mama. It's kind of cute. Oh. oh, it's gonna be so cute! Oh, Iwakura's gonna take care of him! Right? Oh, she knows because of the thing! Oh! Yes, dude! Oh, I love it, dude. I love it. Uh. Damn, bro, you can't even stick up three fingers? Nothing? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am lost. Oh my god. Yo, he's so good with kids! That's so great! Look at him! He's good with kids. What was what was this supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know what happened. He, my man, must be lost as fuck. Aww, he wanted some feedback. He wanted to hear what he thought. Oh no. Because she wants to see you perform. <laughs> bro, why is this always the way she is, bro? Every time she encounters someone, <laughs> she looks like this. Every time. She's always, like, disheveled. Hey, you like that big word? Yeah. I don't even know if I used it right, but I think so. Maybe. Right? She always does look like a mess. Be nice. Why y'all just having a staring contest right now? Oh, ah, he was scared. He's adorable. Oh, you got snot pants, bro. I'm t I just, in the back of my mind, I know that one uh, is going to show up and ruin the moments. Here she is. This is her. Throw my fucking chair into the monitor, bro. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? <sighs> That's so fucking... Oh! Mom proceeds to shove her down the stairs. Damn. Hands are gonna be thrown. This show is so wholesome. I like the little play. Oh, best moment of this episode easily. The moment that uh, Yuzuki and Makoto because I'm shit with names, I gotta look him up. The moment that they have, man, the moment where she like is talking about the friendship between them, it's so cute. It might be one of the most wholesome moments throughout the whole show. I don't like Ririka. I feel like she's gonna fuck up the vibes. Ooh, I just, ooh, I don't like her, man. I hope that she doesn't try to make mama feel bad or, ooh, I just don't like her, bro. Ooh, I don't like her. I'm sorry, man. She just, when she found out about it, ooh. Oh, and the, oh, oh also another great thing is, just the moment that Shima has with his little brother is so fucking wholesome. How is this gonna turn out? Does she hate her? Does she feel bad? It's one of those. Ain't no way she disrespecting mama right now, bro. Hey, bro, chat, I need you to be real with me. We're shitting on her whole existence if she disrespects mama right now, right? Right? Can we all agree on that? Yes? No? Okay, kind of like split even right now. I think we are. I am. I can tell you that much. 
にいるんですかおいリリカソスケのお母さんお久しぶりです I'm already mad! Bro, okay. The only way I'm okay with her doing this is if, is if, 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 if. We hear Ririka talk about how Shima's mom abandoned him when he needed her the most and was a, a, a bad mom. That's the only way. If she was a bad mom, I will, I will flip and, and I'll be on the other side. I will, I will not like mom anymore. But right now, right now, I don't like it. <laughs> Obviously. Wait, she she said such a narcissist for And she's disrespecting Chris, bro? Oh my god, I'm about to lose my voice, bro. I'm getting mad, bro. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. You don't know the full situation, so I'm not gonna get entirely mad at you. I'll calm down. I'll calm down. I'm just angry. Uplift me, OP, please. I'm trying to we're just gonna dance it all out guys. We're just happy. Okay. We're good. All right Can't cat jam after that. I'm saying bro. It's hard to be happy after that man Okay, maybe I can't be happy. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute It's when they start dancing together. That's what wins me over every time I don't know what to tell you man. And then when they hit this move right here. Oh, dude. I, I love this shit. Ah Ah, oh, they're so cute, dude. I can't what am I supposed to say bro? They're just so cute, dude. I love this OP so much, man. <laughs> Can't keep me from cat jamming to that one, dude. It's great, dude. What am I supposed to say, man? What am I supposed to say, dude? It's just so good. Yeah, <sighs> <laughs> he's adorable, bro. I don't want to grab his little chubby cheeks and then swing him around by him. Okay, so I just want to break it down real quick. So, Ririka is mad at Mama because she feels Mama is the reason why Shima was acting, right? Shima was acting because he, like, it was solely for his mother. Like, he was his mother's little, little fucking thing. I don't know. Maybe she was living vicariously through him, right? She wanted to be an actor. She failed at it, and she wanted... So she then got her son into the acting as as a kid. Um, maybe. Or maybe maybe it was just like, oh, I want to make money off of you. I don't know exactly what it is, but it basically she was pushing the acting on, on Shima despite him not being interested. Now, Ribika at the moment does not know that our boy is acting because the class wanted him to act because he's cute. Has nothing to do with his past. They don't know about his past. And in fact, he is enjoying the acting. He's enjoying it. So I don't want to be too mad at Ririka. I still don't like, she is a little manipulative when it comes to Shima. Still not a fan of that manipulative way that she deals with him. I don't like the way that she's like guilting him and stuff. I, I'm not a fan. I'm also not a fan of how maybe, I, I don't really know enough about his mom to have like an opinion on her. I just don't know. Great, now everybody knows about it. I blame Ribika. I blame Ribika. It's Ribika's fault. This man wanted to keep it a secret. She made him come out of the uh, out of the dressing room, if you will. I don't like that. No, stay. Don't let this happen. She just wanted to see you acting. And she's smiling. My fucking God, bro. Ooh, bro. I genuinely, I genuinely wish I was rich. I genuinely wish that I was rich. Because if I was, I swear to you, I would throw something into my fucking monitor looking at her smug fucking face. She thinks she's some shit, man. She thinks that she just saved Shima. Guarantee you. I guarantee you that's what she thinks right now. She's like, oh, I saved the day. I got evil mom to leave. Guarantee you. Manipulation, bro. Manipulation. Was it to poke at him? I love that our girls. Ooh. Oh, I love you. I love you. Not you. I don't fucking. I love you. You're great. As a character. I don't love her as like, you know, not weird. I love her as a character. I love that she's noticing these things. I, I love that. Don't be afraid of her. And, ooh, and she's looking over at her smug. Hmm. Hmm. You fucking country girl.
I swear, man. <laughs> yes. Tell, tell on her, 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 tell on her right now, tell on her right now. Yes! Yes! Oh, I fucking love her, bro. I love her, bro. I love her. <laughs> That's funny. She's the less, she's the lesser ant eater. That's adorable. <laughs> I love that that's the way he's seeing it. Good. Yeah, take the L, Ririka! Ririka? More like Lirika, right? With L's instead. Because cause she's got the L just now, right? And I'm pronouncing it properly. Chris, you can stay. We love you. We love Chris, right, guys? We love Chris. God, I fucking love Chris, bro. I need a friend like Chris, bro. Oh, dude. I just wanna, I just, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I just wanna take her, and I just wanna put her in my pocket and then protect her forever. Protect her forever. That's what I want. She's too wholesome and too cute, and she does not deserve any bad things, ever. No bad thing should ever happen to her. Should, it should, nothing. She needs to be protected. What's her goal? Be a good friend. I wanna be a good friend to you, Shima. That's that's what she wants. She wants to be a good friend, bro. I, oh, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Oh no. Aw, uh, I feel like she really fucked up the moment for him. He was enjoying acting. He was doing it for himself. And now he's just got this shit in the back of his mind the entire time. He's envious. He wants to, he wants to be there. He wants to be an actor. I hope Mitsumi did bring the mom back too. I really hope so. Please tell me mom's there. Disgusting. Vile. Please, stand up for yourself. Be confident. Damn. I love that he said that. I can't keep going down the same self-destructive path you're on. Oh, I hate her. I hate her. Look at that. Hey, any of you defenders of Rebecca, she's literally, she's just literally like, oh, you want me to forgive you but because of what you did? No, you're going to continue to feel bad. I want you to continue to feel bad. That's literally, literally what she's saying. I want you to continue to feel bad and be my little plaything. And yet she still has the nerve to say some shit to his mom, thinking that his mom saw him the same way, doing everything for her. Fuck you. You too, bitch! I hope you burn in hell. Damn, killing her with kindness. I could never be. Oh! That's me every fucking episode to this bitch. Every episode to her. Don't hide it, let her do it. I love Chris. Good. She should cry. Yo, yo, hey, bro. What did I say? I said that I, I would, I, I mean, I'm, I'm mad at her. But if we got to a point where she tells us or whatever, we find out that he forced her to come, got her into that situation, then I would put way more responsibility on him. I was already putting some responsibility on him. I'm not putting any responsibility on him anymore. He told her not to come. He said, don't come with me. And she still went. How is that his fault? It's literally not his fault. Because you're so mean to him. Because you're mean to him. She 
She's envious of him. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. All right, two th I just want to say two things. Two things. Two I want to say two things. Two things. Let me say two things. One, I believe she can change, and I won't hate her. Oh, also, uh, Memphis, you said no one defended her, you turd. Bro, there was literally some... I don't remember who it was, but there was literally... You remember the other... It was last week somebody defended her. Literally last week somebody was defending her. You still hate Mika for what she did in episodes one to three. I don't hate Mika anymore. I was shitting on her all the way up to the point where she changed. Every time she appears, you do the face that you do to Rebecca. Mm, you'd have to pull up the tape on that one. I'm, I'm gonna see, need to see evidence on that. I might have. I might have like once or twice since then. Maybe. And then two. Look at the way she's fucking treating Chris, bro. Chris is here for her, bro. Chris is here for her. And this is the way she's treating him. The thing is like, Shima is gonna be okay with her. I don't expect somebody that's also, I don't, I don't even know how to explain this. Like, I just don't expect people to like me if I do that. For, for many years, I'm horrible to somebody. I don't expect people to like me, even if that one person does. No, I think that she can get some forgiveness, but she shouldn't expect everybody to forgive her forever. I think that's, that's a ridiculous thing. It's ridiculous to expect everyone to forgive you. To be honest, I don't see how she can appear in the story anymore. I really don't. No, they're gonna give her redemption. She's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna come back, guaranteed. She might not be in in it for a while, but she'll be back for sure. And um, by the way, hey, uh, Adam, when you edit this, you can keep uh, some of the stuff from the beginning. You can cut out a lot of this shit. Cut out a lot of this shit, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Adam. I'm so sorry. I, I just want to, hey, everybody that's watching on YouTube, I I have to apologize to my editor, Adam because he has to deal with me talking to chat for like 15 minutes and like cut out a bunch of this shit. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> Yo, hey, Chris clapping back, bro. Respect? I really hope that Mitsumi somehow brought Mama back to watch the play, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like it didn't happen. I don't think so. This man's literally just copying what the last person said. Please give those flowers to the one that really deserves it. What, a, what an ass. Damn. I feel bad for the way that I acted towards him. <sighs> this man's had a rough, man. He's had a rough. And he's apologizing. Damn, you know what? I, I, I take it back. I don't forgive him. <laughs> what the fuck? He deserves that. <laughs> they getting lit, bro. Twenty percent. That's twenty percent juice. <laughs> They're so adorable. Go back. Yes. Yes. Tell tell her. Tell her you found the thing that you your goal. A little smile, bro. How many times have we seen his smile like that? Aw, he's, dude, he's finally embracing. 
Like he's finally letting go of all that pressure that that he felt from Ribika or like his past or whatever. He's like letting it go and he's just he's just being a kid. Just enjoying his school life. Rainbow? What is it? Sunset? Is it just a sunset? It's wholesome. It was cute. What a what a what a great anime, dude. That was awesome. Y'all gonna be honest with you, man. That might have been one of my favorite slice of lives ever. Final rating. Final rating. That's a nine out of ten. And for those of you that are like upset about me not giving it a ten, I've given a ten out of ten to like fucking thirteen anime. Okay, relax. Right? I've seen like 300 and like 13 have a 10. That's a nine, man. That was good. That was fucking great. That was a great fucking anime. Completed that. That's done. I loved it. That was awesome. Am I going to the manga? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I don't know if I will. I can't give you a definitive answer on that. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just, all the characters, interactions, the slice of life drama of it all, the redemption of characters, the true colors shown of characters, the growth of characters. Shima's growth through this, right? Mika changing over the course of the show. I loved it, man. That was good. That was really fucking good. I would love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.